Hello Scorpio. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your Zodiac Tarot forecast for the week ahead or whenever you clicked on title at the time that it intrigued you or at the time that you clicked on the title. Let's move forward a week. We're going to start with a message from your angels, guides, guardians and ancestors. To me, this is the most important part of the reading. Uh, because it is the spiritual message for you. But just before that, let, I want to fill you in on, I go live every Wednesday and Sunday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you would like some personal cards pulled for free for you, do join us in the house for the party. And also as a member of the website, there are lots of perks for you, including free tarot card readings. Do join us or check the description below this video. The message from your angels, guides, and guardians. Let's start with these two cards. We have the hummingbird and magic. The hum hummingbird is one of the six uh, perceptions of consciousness. Naturally, the spiritual kind. The hummingbird can travel thousands of miles with its homing device. That is a fragile bird. It can turn 90 degree turns in the blink of an eye. The agility of this is tremendous and strength. So we're seeing you doing some pretty amazing things in the manifestation world. Whatever you're doing, you're doing it right. But whatever is manifesting is also a bit of a wonderment to you. It's almost like, you know, when a child walks in the a candy store and their eyes get wild and they look around. I think this is what's happening to you, Scorpio. You're going into a whole new world, a whole new perception or way of perceiving things. And it feels magical because it is. These are your guides moving you towards this. What is happening is they're taking you to those to the upper world the understanding of what the time master actually means. This is time traveling. This is the ability to change the past, rewrite it and influence your future. Can you hear the rain pouring in the background? Isn't that beautiful? Feels like there's going to be blessings raining down on you that do feel magical, Scorpio, but it's taking you to a higher level of understanding what your connection is between earth and the heavens. And that time master, that's pretty powerful energy. The spread that we have here for you, actually I didn't even look at it before we I turned on the camera. We have page of air, fortune's wheel, and two of earth. This looks like um, someone's spying on you. They're seeing that you are doing really well. Suddenly Scorpio is, everything seems to be falling into place for you. You're really busy. You're multitasking, but you're, you're multitasking successfully. This could be a person that hurt you in the past. That's spying on you. There's some kind of intuitive feeling going on. You're, it's, it's, you know, like when the hair raises on the back of your neck, Scorpio, and it's like, I, I get this feeling somebody's watching me. Yep, yep, you're right. This heart of the reading about sorrows and regrets and grief. I think the focus here is Scorpio because of, and please do rewind that video because of the most important message of this reading from your guides. When, when I see this in relation to what those guides were telling you, this could be a fear of repeating the past. Of course, the worst thing you can do is worry about that because you're just, you know, calling it in. That's Murphy's Law, right? Or something to do with that. Um, worrying about how things are going to turn out because up here... You've got fortune's wheel. This is destiny. This is fate. 
this is luck and money flow and you being very busy you know within your work or career or there's this flow could be you're worried that you'll repeat the past uh, because there's somebody here spying on you and there's the, the hair on the back of your neck is rising and it, it they might just be little triggers that remind you of something that you went through in the past and you're like oh gosh I don't want to go through that again or fearful of going through that again so you may be closing off here or you just might be focused on that career on that you know just getting your own monies in order could be that you're hiring a professional person this could be an accountant doctor lawyer could be that you're dealing with an air sign Gemini Libra or Aquarius but this is about communication very clear concise and authoritative communication it's like talking and talking to somebody about they know what they're talking about down here though we have the king of fire so this person even though they may be withheld or not showing emotions it could be the same person or it could be you're fearful of having this again of someone who's cold not showing emotions but we have a person here that has come into your life or coming into your life unexpectedly who is devoted who is awake faithful and very passionate and their heart beats for you the hierophant is about something more meaningful it's not just about passion it is something that's meaningful hierophant also talks about contracts whether they're karmic spiritual contracts or physical contracts you know signing papers for buying a house which that could be what this person is here for getting certain papers in order certain things in order contracts there is a decision that you have to make here though Scorpio it may be between two people two jobs two places to live um, choosing is it emotion over logic or logic over emotion either way there is a decision that needs to be made now clarifying the spy card we have foundation and achievements so it almost looks like this person who's spying on you is seeing that you are making achievements as I said a little bit earlier because of the fortunes wheel this is also this person spying on you could be watching you uh, connect with another person and because this is about foundations building partnerships long-term commitments and this person is watching you make these achievements now I wouldn't be surprised if the envy and deception card didn't show up it could be too for some of you Scorpios if you are um, detached from someone that you know you're hoping to reconcile with they're hoping that too they're waiting for the right moment to come in to communicate with you but for now they're just watching bottom of this deck we have partnerships and alliances that you're coming into movement choices and decisions have everything to do with this wheel of fortune your destiny your path your purpose um, this is why this card showed up there is a decision that you make to make need to make uh, when it says here too movement choices decisions this could be in in tow with this two of earth which is about a lot of things happening you could be making a lot of you know quick decisions you know like a foreman would make okay that goes over there that goes over. maybe you're delegating clarifying this busy busy energy two of earth oh my goodness a spiritual unity you may be having to decide between two people or you've met your soulmate and someone else is trying to get in under under this can also be just about you finding your balance in a soulmate relationship 
solitude. That hair on the back of your neck standing up. Going into hermit mode. Or perhaps this person has been incognito. Uh, you know, you haven't heard from them for a while and, and you're wondering what they're doing. Well, they're not doing anything. They're in solitude. They're probably busy with their lives, doing a lot of left brain thinking, problem solving, analyzing. Virgo energy here. We also see Taurus, Leo, and the air signs. Taurus is showing up here again. Wisdom. I think you've really gained a lot of wisdom being the opposite of knowledge. Wisdom comes out of the knowledge experience. It's the same as the Hierophant. Something meaningful. So perhaps you're going into hermit mode. Perhaps you suspect why someone is in hermit mode. Why you haven't heard from them. They are keeping tabs on you. This could be two different people that's going on. But there's some kind of spiritual contract going on. And a finishing of a karmic debt that needed to be paid is finishing. King of Air is being clarified by conflict and defeat. Yeah, someone was really cold. You're still dealing with your past. The hurts and pains. Fearful of being shut out and, and clued out. But there is communication here that's clear. Perhaps this is a delay that you're not liking. But necessary because we have Wheel of Fortune here. Destiny. Trapped in fear over this lover. This person that's coming in. Who has passion for you. Fearful of maybe moving too fast. Heartache and loss. What is going on, Scorpio? Why have you got all this conflict and, and being a naysayer? This is about healing, though. Heartache and loss is the Three of Swords. It could be that, you know, you're dealing with this pain of the past where you were cheated, betrayed. But you are healing in order to have something more meaningful. What is this decision? Whether or not to get into this relationship. Gemini energy. Not necessarily that you're dealing with these signs. Only that these energies are around you. The elements. We have you by divine guidance and divine timing. Moving towards a true love. Looks like you're just dealing with the past. Because truly, Scorpio, if you hang on to any negative energies, that's you know very well that's not going to help you. Going back to that spiritual message, you can influence the future and change the past. You don't have to repeat this. Your guides are telling you, that doesn't need to be repeated um, and probably won't be repeated unless you insist on this energy of the past. It'll just repeat. I don't feel that for you though, Scorpio. I don't feel like it's repeating. I feel like you're just looking at and saying, you know, if you fall in love, would it be too good to be true or is it just going to be more heartache and pain? Do not do not, Scorpio, cut yourself off for fear of pain. Because truly, falling in love, think about it, you're falling. Love is not easy. It's painful. That's why they call it falling. Advice for Scorpio in love. We have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine we have a flirt extend your lighthearted energy 
Yeah, lighten up, Scorpio. Don't be so dark on yourself. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Yeah, let's get this out in the open. Doesn't have to involve the heart, you know, and emotional, but just discuss it. It won't get uh, accomplished if you hold back. Separation, time apart from your partner. That could be why you're feeling like doo-doo, wedding. The situation involves marriage. Hopefully you're not involved with someone who's married. Or hopefully you're not married and, you know, someone's single. This can also, well, very much is indicating that you are moving to a higher level of commitment with a partner. So let's disregard what I said just before that. This does look like a higher level of commitment. Whatever the separation is, I think it's temporary. And I, and I don't really get the feeling that your this separation has anything to do with anger or animosity. It's just like, it's one of those things. It could be you because it looks like you're really, really busy. Really, really busy. And multitasking successfully. Having to make choices and decisions and delegate. But maybe reassure your partner or person of interest that they are they are still on your mind. Hopefully they're not selfish in saying, make me the priority. Your partner should always be the priority. It goes without saying. You just may be worried that by multitasking this way that they stop loving you or stop caring. And that's not the case. If this resonated for you at all, please, Scorpio, hit the like share subscribe check the description below this video for all of the perks that can be offered to you and hopefully we'll see you wednesday or sunday night at 5 p.m eastern standard time god bless you we'll talk again soon i hope bye bye for now